They just keep on coming and coming and coming, don't they? We have more predators, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Two of them, specifically. So let's skip all the pleasantries and hop right in. First up is Therapy Rarity. The investigation into this asshole has only just begun recently. I was informed by popular drama YouTuber FNDR about this creepazoid on Twitter a few weeks ago and have been looking into them rather intimately. Anthony did release a slightly meme video on them, so feel free to take a look for yourselves if that's your thing in order to get more information about this individual. Therapy Pony here is a self-confessed minor attracted person, or MAT, someone who has a sexual attraction to children, also known as a pedophile. Now, if they were actively being treated for this illness, I would have left well enough alone, because it's perfectly possible for someone with this illness to recover and live a healthy adult life. However, this particular creep has no issue with publicly indulging in their child abuse fantasies. Here they are openly discussing having sexual desires for a real-life child in the real world, referring to a human child as a lowly. And here they are declaring their desire for attraction to children to be validated as a sexuality. Therapy Pony has also declared that they are fine sexually role-playing with minors in secret, which is absolutely not helping your image, buddy. And their Twitter is covered in porn of minors having sex with adults in drawings. Up second is a creep by the name of Sloppy Girl. An anonymous informant claims to have been the victim of sexual abuse at Sloppy's hand. Sloppy constantly and fanatically raved about raping the informant, who I am told was a minor 17 years of age at the time, and forcing them to have sex with a dog or be raped by a dog. I have way too many screenshots of him describing his fantasies, which will be censored for your safety. Which is kind of a double whammy. Because even if it's revealed that the informant wasn't a minor, we still have this dude on conspiracy to commit bestiality and sexual assault. This is what I meant when I said that the brony fandom has a sexual predator problem. One that needs addressing and a clear resolution. If you, or someone you know, has any information on these two, please contact me. I can offer you anonymity at your request, and I can help you find recovery services if you need it. Please, don't let people like this ruin your lives. You can stand up to them. You can make the world a safer place. Stay safe, stay smart, stay informed, and I'll see you guys next time.